Arsenal fans are not happy with this year's kit, home kit that is, then I absolutely don't know what makes you happy. Now, after creating the Bruise Banana 2.0 last year, Arsenal has come out with Adidas and created this beautiful home kit. Not only is Arsenal doing well with the tradition and making the home kit unique, but also appealing, they've tapped into that 90s nostalgia that a lot of these Arsenal fans are loving and wanting to buy. And I think when it comes to selling the nostalgic feel, Adidas and Arsenal have done a beautiful job in that once again with this home kit. Now the kit does represent their Art Deco sort of era. I think around the 30s, late 30s, early 40s, they had a beautiful geometric logo that is also represented in some ways with the neckline here with the old gunner uh, sort of representation but with the club having its original roots at Highbury there was a lot of these sort of arrow geometric designs across the stadium so when you look at this kit now as an Arsenal fan it should represent what history was for the club and it's a great uh, sort of indication of future you know creative aspects for the club because they do have an amazing ambassadorship with a lot of creative uh, footballers out there at the moment and the one and only Hector Bellerin who will be donning this kit this year and I'm really excited to see it you know used a lot more after being teased the other day. I think the kit itself looked beautiful in the photo shoot that Arsenal had released and when the images were leaked I knew straight away that this kit will be an instant classic for the club. Like the bruised banana I think this kit in 20 years time will become of course, a future classic. So when you think about kit sponsors, I think JVC will now live alongside the Emirates logo. And I think Arsenal, once again, have indicated their future ambitions to be a top flight club with beautiful kits, but also on the pitch with the ambitions to you know push for top four. But last year, I don't think that was the case. So I do hope that for their sake, this kit does bring them some sort of joy in 21 onwards. Now if you're willing to buy any Arsenal gear in the future, today's kit was given to me by the amazing team at Ultra Football. If you are interested in buying any kits from Ultra Football, the link will be in the description below. Now to give this kit a quick review, I think I have to start off with the cuff or the sleeve. I think Arsenal and Adidas have done this beautiful representation of, again, a nostalgic approach to bring that not only authentic but arsenal approach to fashion and again the the sleeve itself is sort of halfway off the shoulder towards the elbow and allows you to have that tight sort of cuffing around the biceps that will give that player that you know again nostalgic approach now again attention to detail there's two shades of red on the sleeve here of course arsenal does approach with that on the kit itself with the arrows going from a darker red to a lighter red that is also to represent arsenal's history over time donning both a light red and a maroon brownie red over the history now i would have loved to have seen greats like Henri or burkamp wear this but i think like i said earlier this will become an instant classic of course with the bruise of banana last year i don't think they will go down that nostalgic past um, feeling for their away kit this year i do think and from the rumors that i've seen they will try and push a more modern approach for the kit similar to what real madrid has done with their pink kit but again, when it comes to producing future classics, I just hope when they create something new and a bit more above the you know the line of normality, I think Adidas won't do wrong for Arsenal as a brand. And like I said with the Manchester review, I think United need to push boundaries. And this is something that I think that Adidas need to look at for United because Arsenal two years in a row have been yeah given two beautiful kits from Adidas. Now of course Arsenal being with Adidas in the 90s, I think the 9092 home kit does have a sort of representation to this exact kit of course with the white sleeves and the red inner body. Um, again one more thing that I love about this kit is that the pattern does go full circle. It does not have the numbering or the lettering on the back but I did see a recent image of what they had for Tyranny and I think Arsenal will do a great thing for the kit collectors industry again with those numberings because I would love to see a lot more of that sort of unique approach in future kits. And of course, to finish off this kit, Adidas and Arsenal are a perfect match. I do hope to see them for a long time. I will definitely give this a four out of five.
Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Please tell me your thoughts with this home kit. I think Arsenal are blessed as always when it comes to home kits. It's really hard to mess up an Arsenal kit, but of course they have had to endure some sort of weird kits over the you know, 20 years or so, but um, Adidas and Arsenal, what a great collaboration. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video. And of course, I'm really excited to create these videos for you. So if you have any ideas or any recommendations, please let me know. I'm all ears and I'm happy to have to get creative. And as always, please stay safe and I'll definitely see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.